Hey, Only For Purpose, I'm back with another video, and I believe I have a word for the ones who've been separated, who always feel like they've been separated, and the one God is going to continue to separate. So let's go. Get your Bibles out, and let's go to John 15, and I'm going to be reading from verses 1 through 15, okay? Y'all ready? All right, so verse 1. I am the true grapevine, and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch of mine that doesn't produce fruit, and he prunes the branches that do bear fruit. So they will produce even more you have already been pruned and purified by the message i have given you verse 4 remain in me and i will remain in you for a branch cannot produce fruit if it is if it is severed from the vine and you cannot be fruitful unless you remain in me yes i am the vine you are the branches those who remain in me and i in them will produce much fruit for apart from me, you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me is thrown away like a useless branch and withers. Such branches are gathered into a pile to be burned. But if you remain in me and my words remain in you, you may ask for anything you want and it will be granted. When you produce much fruit, you are my true disciples. This brings great glory to my father. I have loved you even as my father has loved me. Remain in my love. When you obey my commandments, you remain in my love, just as I obey my father's commandments and remain in his love. Verse 11, I have told you these things so that you will be filled with my joy, his joy. Yes, your joy will overflow. This is my commandment. Love each other in the same way I have loved you. There is no greater love than to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command. I no longer call you slaves because a master doesn't confine in his slaves. Now you are my friends. Since I have told you everything the Father told me, you didn't choose me. I chose you. I appointed you to go and produce lasting fruit so that the Father would give you whatever you ask for using my name. This is my command. Love each other. All right, y'all. I know that was a lot to soak in, but let's get to it. Let's get to it. Verse 1 says, I am the true grapevine, and my Father is the gardener. Who are we talking about in this text? Jesus the Son and God the Father. Grapevine is a productive plant. Productive means producing or able to produce large amounts of goods, crops, or other commodities. Jesus said he is the true grapevine, meaning he is his Father's Son. He is truly an example of being productive. Don't we know that? His father is a gardener, meaning God is a person who tends and cultivates a garden as a pastime or for a living. Like, come on up. What is Jesus and God still trying to do till this day? Save our soul. Tell us that we already been forgiven for our sins. You know, trying to tell us that we are in this world, but we are not of this world. Do you hear me? Cultivate means to prepare and use land for crops or for gardening. And the second definition for cultivating is to try to acquire or develop a quality. Yeah. When God created each and every one of us, he was very distinct about us. He was very detailed about us. He, We were made with such quality. Do you hear me? You were made with such quality sentiment or skill like you have skills you have talents that the father has given you when he made you and as a and as a good gardener he cuts off every branch of mine that doesn't produce fruits meaning friends relationships and family somebody say thank you god thank you for seeing what i don't see thank you for removing me from that relationship thank you for removing those friends from me Thank you. Verse 2 reads that he separates the branches, which are the people, which are us, who do bear fruit, so that they will produce even more. Baby, you are separated for a reason. Somebody say, I am separated for a reason. Jesus told us that we have already been pruned and purified by the message he has given us. You have already been set apart so that you may bear more fruit. He has already called you. He has already prepared a place for you. Okay? <sighs> Verse 4 says, remain in me and I will remain in you. For a branch cannot produce fruit if it is severed from the vine. Sever means being cut off. So if it's cut off from the vine, it cannot produce any more fruit. And you cannot be fr fruitful unless you remain in me. You hear me? Verse 5 says, Jesus is the vine, but we are the branches. If we remain in him and he remains in us, we will produce much fruit. That is a promise. Just like in Philippians 4 and 13, we can do all things through Christ who gives us strength, you know? So if we stay connected to the to the grapevine, to the gardener, we can do anything that we put our mind to. You know, we can ask for anything and it shall be given to us. Right. OK. First seven says, but if you remain in me and my words remain in you, you may ask for anything you want and it will be granted. You know his word. So now it's time for you to be a doer of the word, not just a hearer of the word. Mm. 
Verse 9, Jesus shared the same love with and to us that God, God the Father has shown us. So in his commandment, he said, love each other in the same way I have loved you. Jesus laid down his life for us. So love each other. Love covers a multitude of sins, right? Love the person, not the spirit that's on them. God is dealing with each and every one of us. Who are we to judge? Who are we to hate? Who are we to be bothered when being persecuted? What does the Bible say about being persecuted? Pray for those who persecute us, okay? Knowing what we know, knowing that some people are on an assignment, knowing that people are controlled by spirits, knowing some people just simply don't know any better, you know? Be graceful. You was, you was once that person. Love them and study God's commands. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love doesn't boast. Love isn't en envious. Love doesn't keep any record of wrongdoing of one another know who you are in christ and just love regardless pray for the person pray for the person because you know vengeance is the father's he sees everything and he knows how you feel so baby for the ones who've been separated for the ones who feel inadequate that's a right now message for you you have been separated for a reason baby as long as you stay connected to the father the gardener the grapevine jesus read his word obey his commandments he is going to all those tears you have cried in silence he will repay you in public with laughter, with joy, okay? It will be an overflow of joy, like in his word. God loves you more than you can even fathom. He sees what we cannot see. That's why he tells us, do not lean on your own understanding. <laughs> My God. When I heard this word, it just gave me so much comfort because I often think like, when things like when things end in a friendship or a relationship, I look at myself. It makes me look at me like, what am I doing wrong? Which is sometimes a good thing, but don't beat yourself up about it because God knows what he's doing. He knows why he removed that person out of your life, okay? You know how you felt, trust how you feel, but also go to God for your understanding because you don't understand and that's okay. Like he said, do not lean on your own understanding. His thoughts are not our thoughts. Don't think less of yourself for what happened in the past. Look to God. Allow him to reveal to you with time, you know? Allow him to be your comfort. <sighs> I just thank God for real because he's seen something in you. He knew that you could produce more fruit. So at this point, you just need to thank God. Thank God for seeing you in a, in a, in a, oh, I just see it. Like in a, a like I just see trees or just branches. And there's just one good branch, but the rest around them are dead. So he had to break off the ones that were dead around you to keep you so that you may bear more fruit. Thank God for keeping you. <laughs> God said, I have given you this gift to bear more fruit, but there's people around you who is going to contaminate what needs to be my God, what needs to be pruned. So I had to get rid of them. I had to let go of that relationship. I had to break those branches off of you. Don't be upset about what has left. You know me. You know me as God. You know I do supernatural things. You know that everything that you have lost, I will replace. <sighs> Praise me. Love me. Keep my commandments.